I'm Mike Greer, the head chef of the Eden Project, and today we'll be making pizzas. You should all have your pizza dough made at home from the recipe that was provided, and you should all know where pizzas originate from. Italy? No, you're wrong. They actually originate from ancient Greece. The word pizza is derived from the Latin verb pincer, which means to press or pound. So you used to press and pound their bread. If you imagine like a Greek pita bread, I used to bake them on stones and in ovens with different types of meats and cheeses. And in the late 18th century, early 19th century, those pe those, that sort of concept was taken over to Naples, where our modern day Italian pizzas uh, come from. So the most popular pizza in the world is the margarita, of course. And the reason it's called Margarita Pizza is because in 1889, Queen Margarita of Savoy got a brilliant chef, Raphael Esposito, to make her a pizza. And the one he made for her was swashed with the colors of the Italian flag. It had basil for the green, tomato for the red, and mozzarella for the white. So every day now, when you see a margarita, you'll know that those, that's the reason why it's called a margarita pizza. Right, to make your pizza at home, it's entirely up to you how you want to make it, what toppings you have, there's no right or wrong. All I want you to do from this is have fun. So if you're doing it with friends, family, you know, get involved, get your hands on and enjoy yourself. I'm going to show you how to roll a dough. I'm going to show you how to throw a dough. And as I said previously, pinch out to press, I'll show you how to press the dough. So first of all, this powdery substance here we've got is semolina. It's not a flour, it's semolina. We use this for two reasons. One, it's not as absorbent as flour, so it may, won't make your dough dry out. And two, it gives it a lovely, beautiful crisp bottom when we bake it. So plenty of that on a work table. We've got a heavy duty rolling pin. Any sort of rolling pin at home would be fine. And sort of forward and back motions, and then we turn our dough slightly and do the same. Forward and back, turn, do the same until you get the desired size that you want. So that one here, we just rolled out with a rolling pin, sort of nine, 10 inches. The next one I'm gonna show you, we're just by pressing out by hand. So same again with semolina, plenty on there. I'm just gently using your hand to press and keep turning that dough. And by doing this, you're not, you're not rolling all the air out of the dough. You see that the air pockets, let's sort of keep it nice and fluffy. And then we bring it to the edge of the table and let gravity do its thing. So it's pulling the dough and stretching it. You get a nice round dough pizza there. And the last but not least, the fun one, is how to throw the pizza in the air. Really, this isn't sort of a traditional way, it's more of a fun, uh, fun way to have a pizza. I think recently they've had the National Pizza Championships in Naples where these guys take it really seriously. So I've sort of rolled out a little bit. Now, if you're right-handed, your right hand will do the spinning and your left hand will do the throwing. So you want your sort of left hand in a fist, your right hand like a plate. So I'll step back for this. So left hand underneath, right hand like a plate. And you'll be doing a forward motion. So your left hand will be going up and your right hand will be doing the spinning. So we're going up and catching it like that. You say it doesn't really help the dough, but it's really good fun. So say if you're doing it with friends and family, have a competition who could do it the best and try not let it to land on someone's head next to you. That's always fun. In front of me here, I've got a selection of beautiful toppings here. It's entirely up to you again what you use. You know, pizza, it's, it's a preference, it's a personal choice, there's no right or wrong. So as long as you're having fun and you're happy to eat it, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna start off with a beautiful homemade pizza sauce. Two tablespoons should be enough. You don't wanna overload it so it's too soggy. And then sort of work your way out from the middle, pushing the sauce out to the edge of the dough. So in front of me here, I've got a beautiful selection of tomatoes. Uh, some of these have been picked here in the Mediterranean biome itself. We currently grow nine different varieties of tomato here, which will be harvested. Um, so I'll start with a few of those. Uh, I've got some beautiful roasted vegetables. Got a selection of those on. I've got some beautiful Cornish deli meat, which is fantastic produce and a sprinkle of mozzarella. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh chili oil. And 
tear some fresh basil leaves onto the pizza. Now hopefully at home you'd have done this and put your pizza on the tray because it is quite difficult to get your pizza once it's fully loaded onto a tray or into an oven. And that's it, so that's my pizza there. So I'm going to put this into our stone baked oven, it will take about three to four minutes and we'll show you the final produce at the end of it. So today you've seen how to make a pizza, you've got the recipes, I really wouldn't like to do it at home with your friends, get family around, have fun and enjoy. I look forward to hearing how you get on. Oh, so hot. <laughs> <laughs>